By that time period, six to seven pyramids had been built, and obviously whatever method was used for rock cutting was perfected by then due to the spectacular nature of the Great Pyramids. If the process of building bigger and better pyramids required bigger and better saws, and thereby better sources of power, and if the first objective was a driving force to the second outcome, then the two should be linked in the historical record, or at the very least just offset a little bit from each other. Let me explain it using a more modern technical advancement of the Industrial Revolution. The basic concept of riveting metal together was known, but in the mid-1800s the need to join steel beams together for railway bridges and steel plates together for ship hulls drove the development and standardization of what became known as hot riveting. There was no need to develop hot riveting in the 1300s when stone and wood were used for construction. The technique, the availability of steel, and the need for stronger ship hulls and bridges that could carry trains made all these various interests converge at a single point and develop from there. The construction or industrial needs of a particular situation or time frame drive the tools needed to accomplish it. Back at the pyramids, if a water-powered saw with either straight or circular blades was needed to cut the stones for the dynastic pyramids and temples, then they would have developed in sync with the results of their application.